Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson with Miss Rafa. Today we're going to complete with Unit 3, Natural Resources. We're going to focus on the listening and the speaking. So if you're ready, let's study together. Listening and speaking, page 34, student book. Question A. Before you listen, match the words with their definitions. Toxic. Poisonous. Depleted, used up, consumed, photovoltaic, producing electricity under the influence of light energy, combat, to fight or struggle, panel, Board Now question B. Listen to the following talk about natural resources and decide if the statements are true or false. This is a fairly straightforward answer. Unlike fossil fuels, such as oil and diesel, Renewable energy sources produce no greenhouse gases and do not produce any toxic substance or pollutants that could harm us or the environment. In addition, renewable energy sources are, as the name states, renewable. For example, wind power or solar power. Can't be depleted, we can't run out of wind or sunshine. The same goes for hydropower. However, there are some disadvantages to certain sources of renewable energy. Wind and solar power require large masses of land to erect wind turbines or solar panels. There are some ways to combat this issue, such as using farmland. Researchers from Oregon State University estimate that installing photovoltaic panels on just 1% of group plants worldwide would be enough to meet all of humanity's global electricity needs. Fossil fuels include oil, coal, wind, and water. False. Renewable energy resources don't produce toxic substances or pollutants that could harm the environment or us. True. One day, renewable energy will finish. False. Wind and solar power require large masses of land to erect wind turbines or solar panels. True. Installing photovoltaic panels on 1% of crop lands worldwide wouldn't meet all humanity's global electricity needs. False. Now let's move on to speaking. Read the following extract about fossil fuels. Nations around the world are working to shift the global economy from dirty fossil fuels to clean energy.
We must be vigilant in working to accelerate this transition, not slow or reverse it. Question B. In pairs, discuss the following questions. What are the bad effects of using fossil fuels? What type of fossil fuels is the most common in Syria? How does it damage the environment? What should the government do to stop damage? Are there local societies that lead awareness campaigns for clean energy? Now let's move on to the activity book, page 27. Question A. Listen to how green alternative energy tips should be included in your life. Tell your partner. Green alternative energy tips will help you get an idea of how you, as an individual, can include more renewable energy into your life. Number one. Switch to green power. An increasing number of electricity providers offer renewable alternatives such as wind and solar power. Number two, use solar power. Active solar power is captured through solar cells and can be stored for later or used immediately to provide heat or electricity. You could also use solar power to heat the water for your showers, dishwasher and laundry by installing a solar hot water system. Point three, use geothermal energy. Ground source heat pumps are a way to reduce electricity use for heating and cooling so it's easier to go 100% renewable. Number four, replace fossil fuels with biomass stroke biofuels. You can heat your home using biofuels. You can also use a wood stove or pellet stove. Number five, use wind power. It is more expensive up front, but a wind turbine is a 20-year investment that will save you money in the long run. Number six, use small-scale hydropower. Micro hydropower can be used like pumping water to power a generator. Number seven, start smart. When buying a home, Make sure it is well insulated and energy efficient so you use less electricity. Keywords Switch to Transfer Geothermal energy Thermal energy generated and stored in the earth Biomass energy, energy generated by living or once living organisms. Turbine, a machine for producing continuous power. Hydropower, water power derived from falling or fast running water. B. Listen again to choose the correct answer. 
Which power is considered green? Both A and B, wind power and solar power. What is the best way to reduce electricity use for heating and cooling? By using geothermal energy. How many years does a wind turbine save your money? 20 years. Now let's move on to speaking. Read the statement and answer the questions below. Water covers 71% of Earth's surface. How can we make use of water to produce energy? What can governments do to benefit from river water? What do you recommend to save this crucial resource? That's everything for today. Thanks for your time. See you next lesson.